Good morning, welcome back to the Finca. Welcome back everyone. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit cooler this morning, um, but it bodes well for working. It and it does. Today it's happy days. Yeah, and I have to crack on with it. <laughs> eh? Because we've got the fence in, which means we can crack on and get it installed, which yep. is absolutely fantastic news. It's just this bit to do behind us from the gate. You can hopefully see there and up to the thing. And then we need to get that IBC on the end, which is now empty, put at the side here because there's a big gap underneath and it'll kill two birds with one stone, close the gap and we'll be able to collect the water that comes off the roof because we're going to put some gutter in on the back of the, the shelter as well. So uh, yeah, that is happy, happy days. days. <laughs> so enough said, eh? let's crack on. Right, so the first thing we've got to do, and it's going to be so much easier today because I have my assistant with me. Um, we need to attach this to this bar here um, at the top. So all we do is cut some wire these holes I've made in here to attach it to, thread it through, twist them round, and then we can head off that way with it. So first job, get this fixed to here. So once we've got it fixed at that end, all we need to do is unroll it all the way around to the other end. This is where it's so much easier with an assistant. Right. Once we get to here, we just need to repeat the process and tie it off whilst stretching it a little bit to this end post here. So that's the next step. So now what we have to do is um, trim it off. Um, and we do that, allegedly, by... Alright, it's not working. You need to sometimes get them out in one piece, but you just cut the things and twist them out like that. I'm sure I showed you this the other day. Like that. And so on till we reach the bottom. Excellent. So with that clear, um, all we need to do now is tie it to the top, tie it to the middle, and tie it to the bottom all the way along. That's the painful bit that takes the longest time. So we'll crack on with that. And we nearly forgot one of the most important jobs of the day, the olives. Okay, so it's eventually done. Um, at last, yeah, it's been a long time coming this has. So all we need to do now is move that IBC and stick it over there. That's gonna be fun because we've got to level it after as well and make sure it's stable. Um, so we'll crack on with that.
of you that are wondering what this is all about, maybe new subscribers to the channel, um, basically back in May, I think, before we moved in the house, which was the 1st of June, um, one night, wandering down our lane, was this very, very sorry looking donkey. Our neighbour contacted us and said, could we help to get him out of the road? Because he literally couldn't drive to his house with his car. So we went out and yeah, this poor donkey had a piece of rope round its neck about that long. His hooves were all overgrown. He was um, matted. Oh, he was in a sorry, sorry state. And we just got the thing up to a position where we were ready to move in. And I thought, you know what, we said in the time we would have a donkey and maybe a couple of goats and some chickens and some dogs. So why not? You know, we weren't ready at all, but why not? So our friend very, very kindly took the donkey in and we, we arranged the vet and the farrier. And, and he's been very, very well looked after. Um, up until now by my very good friend Sharon um, but now is time to to bring him home and today is a very very emotional day for me I'm just so happy this is at last finished it's gone on forever but yeah get him home lots of love um, good food and that's what it's all about so that's why today is a happy day folks if you're interested in seeing that original video by the way Andy's going to put it in the end screen at the end of this video so if you've not seen it before have a watch thank you um yeah he was a bit of a state poor thing um Sharon does get emotional about it uh, it's understandable really but he's up, up right now and hopefully he's going to have a great life with us um, I'll actually put a link to the video in the end screens as well if you want to see how we found him and his, his, his progress. Right, okay, we finally wrestled it into place. Um, what, all we need to do now, and it's not critical because it never rains here, but is put a, a gutter on the back. That'll stop any water coming off the roof, going down and, and entering into the stable shelter. Um, and collect the water in here more free water um, while I'm here we, we may put on the front we tend to get the prevailing wind from that direction um, so depending on how the two of them get on uh, Don Quixote and Goaty we may panel off the front a bit on one half of it to give them some shelter we may divide it we're not sure yet we need it's, it's up to them really what sort of house they want how they get on together so we'll have to uh, suck it and see on that one but essentially we're ready okay so we're having a celebratory beer cheers cheers we're so glad that that's done oh fantastic well earned um yeah it's took a while to do this um we started it in the summer and uh, we had to just stop it, it because was too incredibly hot. temperatures were reaching yeah, 43 degrees celsius yeah. which is a 110 fahrenheit and uh, we went on as long as we could then we've had other various circumstances beyond our control yeah. um, like we ran out of fencing we couldn't get any more that delayed yeah. it another week etc uh, etc et but finally it's done so now we're ever so looking forward to... We are. We're just waiting thing. to hear now when Goaty and Hoti can be brought up here because obviously we don't mm. have a horse box ourselves so we're reliant on other people. So we're just waiting to hear now and we'll keep you posted. Hopefully not too long at all. Yeah, we'll be able to introduce you to them. Ever so gentle. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely boys they yeah, are. Yeah, they are. Um, the goat might be a bit potty but <laughs> it's, it's potty in a, in a gentle in way. In a gentle way. <laughs> um, so yeah, so happy, happy day. They say if you want to see the story of how we found him and um, the state he was in, donkey, this is when we got him. Um, I'll put a video, um, in fact I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a link on the end screen as well. And also I'll put a link to, because um, the, the, the goat actually, um, our friend who's looking after donkey, donkey Hoti, um, the police turned up one night with this goat asking if it was theirs. <laughs> 
and of course they said well it is now because that was again that was again in a sorry state. totally mistreated i mean these animals are horrendous mm -hmm. conditions they've lived in mm -hmm. um so now we've got hopefully a happy ending on this one and they'll both be very very happy with us they both look really healthy anyway from the photos um, there's another video um about when we went to see donkey and and we met goaty for and the first goat time as well yeah. so i'll put that in the description <laughs> as well if anyone's interested in watching them um so yeah happy day so yeah um celebrate your beer if you want to buy us a beer please please feel free in the description in the link below and um, thank you to those of you that have yes thank you so much everybody there. that's already bought us a beer much um, much 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 appreciated especially after days like this so yes thank you so much for watching thanks and welcome to all the new subscribers um, thank you of course to all the people that have supported us once again and we couldn't do it without you and hopefully keep tuned in because um, in the next few days or so hopefully the Don Quixote and Goatee will be here with us. Thanks again and regardless we'll be back we'll tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks guys.